Hey guys, this is Lance here from Windshield Gaming, and um, yeah, I'm back in Pokemon. First of all, I want to say, <laughs> again, I'm going to start off an episode by saying sorry about something. <coughs> uh, first of all, I'm going to say I'm, I'm a little sick, so I'm, my voice is maybe just going to be a little, you know, <sighs> weary and shit. Um, also, I want to say sorry because I think I during the last Let's Play said that next week I was going to be on time... Uh, with a new video, and that I promised I'd do that. But, um, <laughs> I, of course, meant next time, not next week. Because next week, which was now two days ago, Friday, when I'm recording this, that was two days ago, that was um, the Norwegian Constitution Day, so it was like a day off, so I didn't record and did not put it up by that because of that reason. For that reason. And, um, so that that is why I, I, of course, meant next time. That was um, just a little, you know, update once again. Uh, I will try to not be uh, as unclear during this or future episodes at all. So, this person, what do you have? You're it was like I I know that. Are you the guy with the um, Mr. Mime? Yeah. Um. So yeah, the Diglett's Cave. There's n there actually not much behind this, we're just gonna show, show you this. There's not really much going on, as you can see here. This is just right before Pewter City, that's up there. Um, but I wanna go kind of everywhere, just uh, except I'm not gonna go through here, because I don't have cut yet, and I don't think I'm gonna bother going back here anytime soon. So it would be if I have nothing else to do, and I just wanna drag this Let's Play on even further than I should. <clears throat> Uh, oh, this again. That's right. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much everything. Ah, oh, Charmeleon. Whoa, alright. Oh, yeah, ground. Shit. <laughs> I'm retarded. I was really hoping that my no brainer, my no brain part last week would not go into this part as well, but it, uh, but it did. It did. As I said, I'm a little sick, so. Whoa! This is like super effective against all my Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, since I've been really sick the last week or something, uh, just my brain, my brain's still not functioning real well. The only thing I can't escape. Oh, why? Why? Why can't I escape? What's the? Oh well, you can't run away because of Diglett's... What? But yeah. Um, the only thing I do know that I've com accomplished this past week is I managed, uh, as I play a lot of Xbox, I play more Xbox than anything else, I managed to get up to, to 30,000 game score today, and it was, it was kind of, you know, fun, fun working towards it. Uh, finally picked up Oblivion again after not having played it for like a year or something. Uh, so, yeah, it's that's... Uh, <clears throat> that, that's really a really fun. I'm believing in such a such a fun game. I think I've completed all quest lines, but the Mage Guilds one, and I just made it in so uh, that I got to beat it. Uh, the advancement to Journeyman, 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 whatever you want, want to say. I'm Norwegian. I don't know English. That's not true. I know I know a little bit English, of course, as I have been talking f English for well a lot of episodes now. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the SSN is this part. I got the ticket uh, from Bill or something. So, yeah, welcome to the SSN. This is where I'm going to kill my rival's Raticate. Spoiler! Um, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to go through and battle every single trainer here. I think I'm just going to go straight for uh, the TM. And, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna do that. I don't remember which way is the right way. I think it's it pro it'll probably up right. Well, not this way. It'll probably be up because if you go down to the boat, yeah, there, there we are. Now I just beat him, like uh, I don't know, one part ago or something, well, two parts ago, and I have not trained my Pokemon even a little bit <laughs> since that time. So this may be entertaining to watch for you guys. Uh, he has evolved. Some of his Pokemon, I think. 
Yeah, but he's got a Pidgeotto now, but I got that as well, so I guess... Yeah, well, I've not been training them passively, I guess. Oh, missed. That's great. And it hasn't even started with a sand attack yet. Whoa! Critical hit. Thanks for that. There we go. There's a sand attack again. But, um... So, yeah, I'm, I think that I might be eating shit this part. Um... Oh, this isn't a hard choice, really. It's just send out Pikachu. Super effective. But I... I have this dilemma. I always want to train my Pokemon that are the worst of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the Eradicate. Uh, spoiler. Yeah. Uh, too late. All right. I told you that. There's a, just a theory that many people know this. Many people don't know this. But I'm going to tell it either way. <clears throat> the theory is that you actually kill the Eradicate that uh, your rival is um, has owns, I guess, um, th in this battle. Because... The next time you see him will be, um, after the, um, well, not after, but after the Flash, uh, like, like the Dark Grotto or whatever, the Dark Cave or whatever it's name, the name of the cavern is. Um, beca because uh, in Lavender Town there is a Pokemon Cemetery, and you can see, you confront Gary as he's going out from, uh, like, when he's leaving the cemetery. And I don't remember if you fight him or just he talks to you, but apparently he's been visiting the cemetery for some reason. And he doesn't carry his um, Raticate with him at any point later in the game. So the theory is that he di that the Raticate died from the wounds that you um, made, or whatever you want to say, um, from the wounds that you afflicted in this very battle. So that might... There's, there might be something to it, but again, it's just a theory. It's kind of it, it's kind of morbid. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely see it possible, and I just messed up there and then <laughs> I was not gonna let him stay out there. So, it's kind of a morbid part of the game, I guess, because you know, death is not associ associated with the Pokemon universe in any way, shape, or form, because. Uh, they only faint. That's when you see that when you defeat someone, they faint. The Pokemon faint, and you just take them to the take them to the Pokemon Center, and then they'll heal again magically. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's we're just talking about death during a Pokemon Let's Play. Kind of makes me all queasy. And um, well, well, I rubbed that guy's back. Whoa, <laughs> calm down there, Captain. Uh, so I I almost don't want to. Almost don't want to admit to knowing that it might be the truth, you know. But I, again, I I just can't see why not. It's a pretty pretty decent theory. Uh, so yeah, that was that about that was that about that guy and this guy and oh shit. <laughs> so yeah, uh, now on these um, just quick SSN, there are gonna be trainers in like these here, and they're gonna be TMs some scattered around, and there's like. Every I don't know. I don't remember if it's at any other, every other door, or every other floor. Of which it is, there are trainers. Um. So. Yeah, and I guess that when I leave here now, the um, uh, the boat's gonna take off because well. Um. <laughs> well, I I. I helped the captain, he's now healthy and he's gonna make the boat go away, but I want to battle all these trainers, but I don't want to drag this episode out so long because I'm sick and, well, it's, it's not that fun to watch this battle after battle after battle after battle, there's not much to talk about on this boat, so I think I'm just gonna let you see that I'm saving here, and we're gonna exit the boat and finish the, off the episode of the boat sailing away. Now this was a short episode, but thanks for watching, and I'll get back to the boat, back to the save, after this episode, and do all the thing, uh, all the thing, all the things on the boat, but yeah, and yeah, I'll see you for the next episode, I guess.